guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you how to make this Mardi Gras jester gnome super easy you want to how to make it stick around I'll show you how okay for this gnome you're gonna need some glitter foam I got that at Hobby Lobby we're gonna use um, green and gold and purple so we can match the Mardi Gras colors you're gonna need a pattern and you can download that in the description below and it's gonna be the pattern for the hat it's going to be a pattern for the um, mask, the beard, the shoes, and then the little um, trim that goes on the shoes. It's going to have a pattern for the arms and the legs, and those are going to be made out of a sock. And you're going to, um, if you want to control the weight of your gnome, I'm going to put a piece of felt rolled up inside of my socks so that my gnome won't get big and fat. You're going to need a piece of faux fur. You're going to need some pipe cleaner, a gaudy necklace if you choose. You're going to use some jingle bells. You're going to use two beads for the hands. I use 12 millimeter on those. You're going to need a bead for the nose or a felt ball. You're going to need some weighted beads. And then you're going to need some poly stuffing. And we're going to go ahead and get started on the hat. We're going to go ahead and cut four pieces of each color foam for the hat. And then we're going to put a piece of pipe cleaner in the middle of each one of those and glue the other half on top of it so that we have glitter foam on both sides of the hat. We're going to make six different panels to go on our hat. So we're going to just do the same thing for all the colors. We're doing the purple first. Then we're going to go ahead and um, do the gold ones the same way and then the green ones the same way. And then we're going to um, take our one inch by 11 inch pieces and that's going to be the part that we're going to glue all of our pieces to when we get finished putting them together if you need to trim any at this at this time if they're not both the same on both sides that's the time to do it after it's been glued together we're going to start with the um purple one followed by the yellow one the gold one i mean and then the green and then we're going to put them all down there glue it on then we're going to glue this on top of it so we can trim our hat at night hat out nicely once we got that all glued down, we're gonna turn it to the side and just make sure that the bottom is completely glued in all the way down. Just um, put your fingers on it and glue it down. We're gonna go ahead and turn it and, and spin our hat and glue it to the back. Cut off about an inch and glue it down. Just make sure that your green and your, on your purple touch each other and hold that till it dries. Then we're gonna go ahead and bend our little pieces down outward, all six of them, to make our hat. Once we get those all glued down, we're gonna put our jingle bells on it. And on this part, hold your jingle bells, put your glue on them and hold them um, straight up because if you turn them over the little bell part in the center, it's gonna glue down and you will your hat will not jingle. And we're gonna do that to each one of these sections. Just go all the way around and put it on each one of these sections. We're gonna put that aside and we're gonna go ahead and start building our body. We're gonna take our felt and we're gonna roll it. We're gonna put some glue on the side and then roll the, and, and glue the other half to it. We're making a tube to go down into our sock so that we can contain most of our beads and our stuffing inside of that tube instead of on the outside of our sock. That way that he will be a slim, he will be slim and his hat will fit him good. We're gonna go ahead and take our sock. We're gonna put it over the top of that and we're just gonna pull it all the way down and then we're gonna fill it up with um, weighted beads. I used about a, a, a cup and a quarter, and that, that way it'll hold the hat because you're gonna have a lot of weight on top. After we get all that in there, we're gonna go ahead and take some um, polyfill and fill it up the rest of the way. We're gonna fill it up till about an inch from the top so that we can um, have some room to tie it off. We're gonna fold back our um, sock and then we're gonna cut our felt off about an inch because we don't need all that excess in there. Then we'll pull our sock on up over that and we will um, take a rubber band and secure it tight so that we can go ahead and um, tie it off with our string. And that's about how, that's about how, what size I used. If you can see in the picture, that's about how tall I made my, my gnome. And then we're gonna go ahead and tie it off with the ribbon, with the string, so that it won't come back open. And then once we get that all tied off, we're gonna go ahead and take some glue, and we're gonna glue the top part flat against the top. And just put glue all the way around the edge, and then hold that down. 
Then we're gonna take that sock and we're gonna, on the end that's finished, we're gonna cut up about probably three inches and we're gonna take a string and put around the top of that. We're gonna turn it inside out then we're gonna put a string on around the top of it and tie it off, kind of make like a little hat. And then what that's gonna do, it's just gonna cover up the top part of our gnome body so that you don't see any of the raw edges when you put your actually put your hat on itself. I'm going to trim that off and then we're going to turn it right side out and we're going to just glue that down onto the top of the gnome body. You don't have to add a lot of glue, just kind of do some glue dots around the edges of it. Then so that it doesn't look just like a sock around the body, we're going to take another sock and we're going to use the trimmed off end and we're going to cut it and put it over the top of our whole entire body here. So the bottom part will be the trimmed edge of our sock. Then we're gonna go ahead and pull it up and we're gonna trim the top off. And then we're gonna turn the top edge down into the inside of the gnome and we're gonna glue that down. That way you have all these ends that are finished out. And then we're gonna go ahead and glue that, secure it to the body. Okay, after we do that, we're gonna go ahead and start on our um, beard and just take your pattern and you're gonna cut around that pattern through the backing only of that faux fur, not through the fur itself, just the backing only. And go all the way around that pattern and then pull the excess off and we're just gonna comb, comb it out to get rid of any loose hairs. Then we're gonna attach it to our gnome, probably about, um, I'm gonna say maybe an inch down and just secure that with glue along the edge. And then we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna start working on his um, arms and his legs. We're just gonna take our pattern pieces down. You're gonna need two arms and two legs and we're just gonna cut them out. And we're gonna start with our legs first. We're gonna take our um, leg and we are going to turn it facing sides and we're gonna glue down one side and fold it over and let that dry real good. And we're gonna do the same thing for the second one because we're gonna turn these inside out here in a minute so that it's trimmed out nicely. You don't have any raw edges of fabric. Now that they're, they're dry, we're just gonna turn them right side out. And then we're gonna secure these up under the second sock on the front part of the gnome. We're just gonna pull that fabric back and we're gonna glue them about, say, an inch up, both of them just side by side in the very front. We're gonna glue them down to the body about an inch up. Then we're gonna pull our fabric back over the top of them, and we're gonna put a little glue in there securing our top to our body. Then we're gonna take our pipe cleaner and we're gonna stick it up into their leg all the way up to the top, and we're gonna trim off the excess. And we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna build our shoes. We're gonna take our shoes, I've already cut my pattern out, take our shoes, fold them in half, and we're gonna glue just the edge of the top part because we're gonna to have to still have room to put our leg down into that. So we're gonna still leave a little opening down in there for the leg and then go ahead and um, glue around the sides and the bottom and glue that shut. And we're gonna do that to both pieces but be sure and leave room to put the leg back in. Then we're gonna attach our trim to the top edges and we're just gonna secure that with hot glue as well. 
and you're going to do that to both of those. And then we're going to take the legs of our gnomes and we're going to put some glue at the very, very bottom and kind of squeeze it together so that we have just like a little shaft that we can put down into these uh, little shoes. It's going to be like putting Cinderella's sister's feet down into her slipper. It's going to be hard, but you can do it. Just I took a little stick and just kind of stuck them on down in there with that and it worked out really, really well. Once you get those in, then just take a little bit of glue and then just stick it down through into there and just kind of, you know, put a little dollop here and there to get them secured in. And we're going to do that to both of those. Okay, now we're going to set that aside and we're going to do our arms. And we're going to go ahead and hem the bottom of the arm up so that we have a nice seam where our hand goes. And we're going to fold that up about an, a quarter of an inch. And do that for both pieces and then we're going to flip them over to the the facing side and we're going to do just like we did with our legs and we're going to glue them down a bead down one end and then fold it over and then we're going to let those dry and we're going to turn those right side out as well Okay, go ahead and turn those right side out. And then we're going to fold the top part of those down into the inside of the arm. And with the seam to the back, centered in the back, we're going to put a piece of glue across the top and seal that closed. And then we're going to take our pipe cleaner, fold it in half. Stick it all the way up to the top part of the arm. Trim it off on both of them. Then we're going to pull the fabric back just a little bit and trim a little bit more off on the edge so that we can get our bead into it. And you want to put your bead in there where the, bead, where the holes are going side to side so when they go down into your arm, you're not going to see the holes in your hands. And then we're going to go ahead and glue our hands in on both of those. And then we're going to attach it to our gnome itself. I went ahead and test, tested my hat to see exactly where I wanted to put my arms. Just put your hat on. Then you can slide your arms up underneath it. And then you can just um, put a little dot of glue on them to where you want it to hold on both sides and then we can go back and remove the hat and glue them down better just stick it up underneath there probably about a half of an inch at the most and add a, just a little dot of glue to secure it until we can take the hat off when we get the hat off then we can glue them on there better okay remove the hat and then go ahead and glue those down Okay, then we're going to go ahead and put the hat back on and we're going to secure the hat to the body just put a little bit of glue all around the edges of it and then we're going to get ready to put our um, nose on we're just going to put a dot of glue on it lift up the hat stick it up underneath the hat And then we're going to put a little bit of glue on top of the nose under the hat to glue the hat down to the nose. Now we're going to add the jingle bells to his little shoes. And then we're going to go ahead and cut out his mask. And I used an X-Acto knife. If you just kind of take an X-Acto knife and go around the edges, push down pretty good, you can get it cut out really, really easy. After
after we get it attached after we get it disattached the eyes from the from the mask we're going to go ahead and attach it to a stick and i just kind of put the stick onto the gnome to see how long i wanted the stick and then i hot glued it to the mask Then I'm gonna attach the um, necklace around there and then just figure out how long you want your necklace and then trim it off and then just um, glue two of the beads together. Then put your mask into his hand. And there you have it, a cute little gnome. If you like the video, hit like. If you wanna see future videos, hit subscribe. If you wanna be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thanks for watching.